gets it done. Dominic Bartnikowski gets his second goal. Welcome to April's Pridecast, Attleboro High School's monthly video newsletter. In guidance news, we were fortunate that the American Legion and the Women's Auxiliary were able to sponsor 12 Attleboro students to attend the prestigious Boys and Girls State Conference this coming June at Stonehill College. Students were selected based on outstanding academic performance, potential for leadership, and commitment to after-school activities. We had a number of well-qualified candidates apply for this leadership opportunity. Students were asked to write an essay about leadership and an interview with the selection committee. We are pleased to announce this year's Girls and Boys State representatives are Catherine Bell, Jared Cooper, Michaela Corbeil, Samantha Fasolt, Robert Furtado, Kathleen Karens, Aiden Lancaster, Riley Netter, John O'Donnell, Cheryl Sibilla, Aaron Shirk Jr., and Sydney Vieira. Congratulations to the representatives. We are excited to be hosting the third annual Highly Selective College Panel, where college admissions officers from Harvard, Brown, Boston College, and Penn State University are coming to AHS to share advice on applying to highly selective colleges. The event will take place on April 11th from 5.30 to 6.30 p.m. in the Bray Auditorium. Each year, the topics change, so even if you attended last year, there will be new information discussed. Registration is required. Please see our website for additional information. In music and drama news, the Attleboro High School Music Department and Drama Club will proudly present the musical Sister Act on Friday and Saturday, April 6th and 7th, 2018 at 7 p.m. Come see the comedy, the fun, and the music of Sister Act in the Robert H. Bray Auditorium at AHS. Tickets will be plentiful at the door. The price of admission is $10 for adults and $8 for students or senior citizens. The Junior Prom will be held on Friday, May 18th from 6 to 11 at the Roseland Function Hall in Taunton. Tickets are $60 per person and will be on sale from April 23rd through May 4th. To buy tickets, all Aspen obligations must be paid and a signed permission form must be turned in at the, at the time of purchase. In athletics news, congratulations go out to several Blue Bombardiers. Our February Student Athletes of the Month are swim team member Jacqueline Lynch Bartek and boys gymnastics team member Andre Butler. Congratulations to the following winter athletes for being selected as Hockamock League All-Stars and Honorable Mention. In swim, Connor Dunn, Elizabeth Saltz, Tiffany Chin, Jacqueline Lynch Bartek, and Corinne Perry. In ice hockey, Jacob Parker. For basketball, Samantha Pierce, Bryant Sissio, and Colleen Charles. In gymnastics, Emma Humphrey. For honorable mention, we have Nathan Douglas and Kim White in basketball, Eddie Noel in ice hockey, and Megan Kleinbrell in gymnastics. The Boston Herald All Scholastic was awarded to gymnasts Andre Butler and Emma Humphrey. The AHS cheerleaders finished runner-up at the Hockamock League Regionals and took third place at the state championship competition. We offer thanks and appreciation to all of our winter athletes for demonstrating blue pride throughout the season. Spring sports schedules are online now. Go to www.attleboroughhigh.com and click Athletics under the student links for more information or visit the MIAA website. Fee-for-service transportation registration is upon us. Registration begins Tuesday, April 3rd and runs through Friday, June 23rd at the Attleboro Public Schools Transportation Department at 100 Rathman Willard Drive. Walk-in registrations will be Tuesdays and Thursdays from 9 to noon and from 1 to 3. Evening registrations will be Wednesdays, April 4th, May 9th, and June 6th from 5 to 7. Blue Pride was on display at Attleboro High School at the annual Leo Club Egg Hunt. On Saturday, March 24th, faculty advisor Greg Brillen, 23 Leo Club members, and 11 members of the Lions Club of South Attleboro helped to host families as they collected candy from 20,000 plastic eggs spread out across the floor of the first floor cafeteria. DJ Nate Adams provided music and entertainment. A special thank you to all who donated time and candy as well as to our administration, staff in the Student Activities Office, our fantastic crew and facilities, the Office of the Superintendent, 
the office of the Attleboro Parks Department, and our friends at the Attleboro Police Department, as well as at City Hall. Thank you for helping keep this tradition going. In Dean's news, while the majority of our students are kind, courteous, and hardworking members of our Blue Pride community, we can all be self-reflective and improve ourselves. Parents are encouraged to have conversations with their students about the following topics. Behavior in the halls, especially during lunch block when students may be walking past classes that have a different lunch time. Student privileges. Students who do not make the effort to be positive members of our school community are subject to consequences that negatively affect school privileges such as dances, extracurricular activities, sports, graduation, etc. In attendance, students are only allowed three unexcused absences per trimester. These all fall under personal responsibility. Students should tell a trusted teacher, dean, guidance counselor, or nurse if they see or hear anything that concerns them. A student's anonymity is always protected. ACEPAC's next meeting is April 25th at the Wamsutta Middle School Library. The presentation will be Transition Planning and Expected Practices for Ages 14 through 22. The meeting begins at 6.30 with parent support, which is an opportunity to meet face-to-face -face with ACEPAC officers to receive advice and resource information. The general meeting and presentation will begin at 7 p.m. The AHS Alumni Association will hold its next monthly meeting on Tuesday, April 10th at 6 p.m. at the AACS Studio, 42 Union Street in Attleboro. Also, save the date for the AHS Alumni Association's 7th Annual Alumni Gathering on Tuesday, May 15th from 7 to 8 p.m. at the Attleboro Arts Museum at 86 Park Street. We are continuing our, tra our, our tradition of highlighting the achievements of AHS graduates, while this year we will recognize the 20th anniversary of the 1997-1998 AHS Boys MIAA Division I State Championship Basketball Team. The Community-Wide Gender and Wellness Forum will take place at Attleboro High School Library Media Center on Wednesday, April 4th. Refreshments will be served at 5.30 p.m and the program will run from 6 to 8 p.m. The Bushy Street parking lot is for staff parking and specialized transportation. Students who need to be dropped off or picked up in the vicinity of the Bushy Street lot should use the corner of Bushy and Verndale Avenue. Have a great month, Attleboro. For those of you who celebrated Easter or Passover later this month, you have my best wishes. Gets it done. Dominic Bartnikowski gets his second goal.